on this episode two, we're going to be talking about types of prosy cipher. Now, if you did not watch episode one, you need to go and find that episode one. On episode one, we talked about a prosy um, computer and what a prosy cipher does. Now, on this episode two, we're going to be talking about the types of prosy cipher. Now, what do they really mean? What can they do for you? What results would they give to you that this other one cannot give to you? And we're all talking about this in line with simulation. Remember that we're talking about um, browser profile simulations, how to simulate hundreds of browsers and have these browsers be able to do things undetectably like normal human beings would without any platform or any bot detection system catching up with them. So proxy is quite a very big deal. And so the type of proxy saver you use says a whole lot about how you would either be banned if it's Google AdSense or Astera, or you get detected and, you know, lose that account, or if everything is going to work normal and smooth without any form of interruption. So we're going to be talking about that today. Okay, so let's talk about the types of proxy saver. Now, the first one is what we call a static IP proxy saver. So now, a static IP proxy saver, these kind of proxy savers, they have fixed computers, right? It means they have fixed computers. These computers, you know, you can decide to buy a couple of, you know, specific computers and keep them personally for yourself, right? Let me explain. On a on a static IP proxy saver, let me zoom it in. On a static IP proxy saver, these are the kind of things you have, right? These are the kind of things you have. You have different computers, different computers, all of them. PC, PC means proxy computer. If you watched episode one, you understand this. PC, 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 PC. Now, all these computers, they have their own IP, special IP addresses. But now, these IP addresses are like fixed. So these are their own IP addresses. You can always, you know, reach them with this IP address right now on a static ip sorry on a static proxy saver they would usually give you something like this now they will tell you you should buy an ip so if you say what you want you want us they start showing you all the proxies they have in the us like in the us we have these ips this this is ip so you can come in and say okay i want to buy five ip so you can buy, buy five ip it's okay one you know, my, my battery is down again. You can now buy like the amount of IPs you want. So each each IP you want, any kind of IP address you want, you buy it, right? So let's say you want to buy three. You buy one, you buy two, you buy three. If it's five, you want it to buy like we were saying before, you buy five. Now, when you buy this IP, they give you the IPs, right? So now they give you like a, a direct way to connect to this computer where you can now just route your network through that particular IP address, right? Now, this one, the problem with it is when you try to use static IP. Firstly, there the, are the two major types of static IP. We have the one we used to call dedicated data center, and we have the one we used to just call normal data center. So I'm going to show you examples on different proxy vendors. There are people who sell proxy, we call them proxy vendors. So I'm going to like take you to some of these proxy vendors and we're going to now see them. So let's start from people like um, Oxilab. So Oxilab, for instance, when you go to the proxies, you're going to see, let me zoom in. Okay, so Oxilab, when you go to, into proxies, um, No, let me do it, do it this way. Okay, let me manage it this way. On Oxilab, when I click on process, you will see residential proxy. 
you would see ISP Prodigy. Now, all these ones over here, right? These ones, they're data capped. We're not going to talk about this now. Let's focus on the middle one. These ones, other, these other ones here, they are unlimited. Unlimited means, you know, um, you have no data cap. You're not being told, oh, 3 gig or 4 gig or 5 gig. You're just being given an IP address. So that IP address, even if you do one terabyte worth of, um, you know, data transmission, nobody's charging you for the data you use, but you have that one IP address. If you're buying 10, you have that 10 IP address. It's like they're giving you a static IP. It doesn't change and it's not data cap. So that's this category over here. So the one that says data center process. Now data center process are like still data center, right? But now you're kind of using it with lots of other people. Now, when you now say you want a dedicated data center proxy, it means you want data, uh, you want, so when you say dedicated the data center proxy, process, it means IP addresses, which is, you know, proxy computers, IP addresses that are data center. By data center, it means a computer, a VPS, right? And these data center, you know, are being used by lots of people. Now, when you now see dedicated data center, it still means VPS, still a computer too, like a normal proxy computer, but only a few number of people are using it. So to show you why it's like that, if I head over to the pricing right now, let's say I want to head over to their pricing, and I want to see for myself um, how much they sell, right? You're going to now see that the, the dedicated data center would often have a better... Let's go down. The, the dedicated data center will have a better pricing than the um, normal data center. So if I their their pricing is not helping matters, I'm looking for where they can show us data center like a comparison. So I'm going to leave. Um, th this is data center proxy. I'm going to head over and create a new tab. Okay, let me duplicate this tab. So we're able to compare the two of them. Now, this, this is really very important if you want to do browser simulation. You need to understand what you're doing. It's not about buying proxies. You need to understand what you're doing. There are different proxies that work differently for different places. All right, so if you don't know what you're doing, you just buy the one that you buy. You get the doctor, you get ads limit, you get banned. So even if I'm going to be over stretching it, going through so many sites, it is because you need to learn. I've used all of them. So you need to learn them from someone who has used them. The specific ones, I should do a specific thing. Okay, so I'm screwing down right now. And I would... Okay, so this is data center. So I'm going to go to dedicated data center proxy. Okay, so now we have one tab, dedicated data center proxy. We have another tab. This one is normal data center proxy. You can see it here from the link. You can see from here, buy data center proxy. Buy private dedicated data center proxy. You can see that the two, there's a big difference. This is buy private dedicated data center IP proxy. This one is buy data center proxy, right? Good. So now let's, let's start reviewing them. Now for normal data center, for a normal IP address, for a normal IP address, right? A normal IP um if you sign up free okay unlimited bandwidth okay five ip but free okay so they give five ip for free that's good they know of that i'm always paying them for their services okay so for 10 ip you pay 1.20 dollar per ip now unlimited obviously like you can see unlimited bandwidth is not data capped but one IP address is $1.20 and you have to get 10 on this package. They charge $12 monthly, right? If I take you now to this private one and we scroll down, now let's go and check the difference, the pricing. Okay, let's see it. Now, 
this one for three ips in fact each ip if you can see over here each ip address is 2.25 dollar remember this one is 1.20 dollar so this other one is more expensive with one dollar fifty cents more right so if i'm buying like 10 okay they don't have 10 yet they only have three they have 20 they have 50 so let's say i'm choosing 50 here if i'm buying 50 of this uh dedicated data center proxy i'll be spending 90 dollars if i'm buying 50 of this i'll be spending 55 dollars so i spend 55 dollars here for normal data center proxy and then i spend extra 35 dollar more if i would want to use their private dedicated data center proxy now i'm not in any way um affiliated to oxylab even if the oxylab team can reach out to me for any affiliate membership and i'll be more than um available to um, to make more detailed review on their process but now that is just showing you static ip addresses these are ip addresses that they give to you you can use now other platforms like cherry prosy right now for instance um if we go have if we head over to the cherry prosy pricing and we head over to their um we head over to their rotate <sighs> cherry prosy sells more of rotating they don't give you specific um, IPs. I think who next would do that should be private proxy. Ah, it's been longer use private proxy. Smart proxy rather. Smart proxy. So now, smart proxy is another service that gives um dedicated IPs. I think it's almost the same price neighborhood as that of oxylab well let's go check the video is getting too long mm. so we head over to we head over to smart prosy which they have not changed to the code that's good um we'll go over to their pricing to find their plans for let me let's go check for dedicated let's check their pricing for data center this is it over here it says deal <laughs> i mean take this from somebody who has used smart prosy it's so cheap but i would never recommend smart prosy to anyone you see the way it's telling you 100 IP addresses for just $3.5. If you have like $1,000, you can get 1,000 IP. You see this 1,000 IP you're getting? With all due respect, my own personal opinion from using Smart Prozy, it's a piece of shit. You will get banned so fast. Your AdSense account will not see the daylight. Your ad stara, you won't even see ads. It will show you anonymous proxy detected i've used them before i wanted to find some other person um to show you data center i forgot that um i could have showed you maybe data impulse which is now data impulse is now cherry so we have um let me see oh uh, let me see let me confirm data impulse let me confirm i think it's now cherry or do they still mm. okay they still retained um so i'm going to go to data center and on the data center you're going to see how much they sell so for them if you are buying um okay for diaz it is no this is this is capped by gig data center proxy
So also super they also sell per IP. So I'm trying to see where I can get that um the IP. Then I start doing per gig. Okay. They've moved over to per gig. And now this is what I want to say. Right. I know this video has gone quite a very exhaustive. We're learning, we're gisting, we're talking we're exploring these people are always changing their pricing so i've used most of the services a whole lot of them currently right now um i can tell you cherry prosy it's very fantastic from all the reviews we've been having back for people from people who do simulations using our software cherry prosy has been very perfect um oxilab oxilab residential is very good i've tried it personally it's very good right the data center in Oxilab, it's not advisable, right? So, the aim to and the aim for me today was to show you the difference between different IPs when it comes to driving traffic. Now, reviewing them like this, um, sometimes I would really have to state that they all work differently, and what really looks cheaper sometimes is not really the best. Okay, for now. Data Impulse has started doing gig. Now they're doing gig, they will likely have high quality static IPs. Now, if it's high quality static IP, if you use it to watch YouTube, you should be able to have good results. Now, if it's low quality IP, which is usually the ones that are even on limited bandwidth, if you watch YouTube with it, the watch hours will drop because huge number of people are purchasing it. So the IP is always very abused. However, if they get an IP that is not unlimited, then people want to always use it for something that is reasonable. So most times, if a human being is coming to make a decision, they would usually want to look for the ones that look like a very good deal. So this means, okay, I should go get this unlimited one. The feature is unlimited. Oh my God, that means I can stream a lot of my YouTube videos and get to watch hours. But now the problem is, because you also know it's unlimited, hundreds of people also know it's unlimited. And everybody is running so many requests through that particular proxy computer or proxy computers, whichever. Or the proxy server is always seeing lots of requests because this is unlimited. So people want to like, you know, just like a buffet, they want to like overuse and abuse. Now, calculatively, the right decision when getting static IPs, if you need static IP, it's usually when you want to have a specific demograph like if you want to be able to like me for instance i'll tell you if it's a streaming platform you can buy the specific ips you want if it's unlimited and use them to stream around the clock now the thing with unlimited is they don't really last for long i've used a couple of unlimited like foxy prosy and foxy prosy was the only prosy in my life that i used to make over twenty thousand dollars plus on youtube Foxy Prozy was so good, but the problem with Foxy Prozy, it's the price. So because it's so good and it's unlimited, I kind of presume people really wanted to buy it, right? But then they didn't want much people using their server. They don't want people just like a buffet trying to over abuse the machines. So what they now did was to up their game. They increased their price, which you can see over here. Now, but I can guarantee you, if you have the finances to buy this prosy and you try to have lots of them and create your own private prosy saver, which OKBot has that future. If you create a location, you can field in as many prosy saver um, details as possible. And each time you launch any of those browsers, they will just pick in one of the prosies and use them. Now, if this is what you're doing with Foxy Prozy guaranteed on YouTube, you're making it big. But now, it is only because Foxy Prozy has high quality static IP. So back again to the tutorial here, a static IP is just basically an IP that you know, is peculiar to a machine. So you can have direct access to use that particular IP to tunnel. And um, in this video, if you don't know anything, learn this, that the cheapest savers for static IP are not usually the best. And, um, to get the best, you would have to spend more. The next episode, I will show you the best and I will try them out for you.